Coming up on Hands on iOS, I am going to show you everything you need to know about iMessage apps, games, and stickers. How to get to it, how to make it go away, how to rearrange, and how to pick the best ones to keep and the other ones to kick. So stay tuned. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether they're working in the office or remote. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Protect your online privacy with one click. For three extra months free with a one-year package, go to expressvpn.com slash HOI. All right, folks, we have a very special episode of Hands on iOS today because it's something that I see a lot of people struggle with, and that is iMessage apps, games, and stickers. Sometimes they seem to be there in messages, sometimes they're not. How do I get more? Where do I go? It can get a little confusing because Apple has locked those into the actual messages app for iOS. So let's take a look. All right, so I have a conversation open with myself. That's kind of sad, I realize, but you know, what do you do? Uh, and here you can see along the bottom is the iMessage place where you type in your normal conversation. Uh, you also have a little bar next to it that lets you send audio messages. And to the left is a camera button and the button we are looking for, the iMessage apps button. When I tap on that, you'll see that a little bar shows up here, and this is all of the iMessage apps that I have downloaded and enabled on my device. There are some on my device that I don't have enabled, but these are the ones that are downloaded and enabled. So the first ones are the Photos app. That is, of course, where you would tap to send a photo to someone. The App Store itself, which we'll talk about in a minute, the Apple Pay app, which lets me send money to another person using Apple Pay, the Activities app, so that I can quickly see my current activity and send some information, some little stickers along, animated stickers if I'd like to, the Taps option, which is an interesting choice. Uh, This is a bit of a holdover from Apple Watches of years past and lets you send weird little messages uh, in in the form of written and recorded uh, video. And you can sketch out different things. It's it's a little silly. I don't necessarily recommend it. Of course, you also have Memoji and Animoji, which if you watched my last video, you learned all about those. Images, which is a way to send animated images like GIFs or GIFs, if that's how you pronounce it. Apple Music, where you can share music with people. And then in my case, I have a one password button uh, for password management stuff. And at the very end here, the three dots. Yes, you can always count on the three dots to be the way that you access more information. So let's go ahead and start back at the top. Again, I want to show how easy it is to both show and hide the iMessage uh, apps and, and sticker pack area. I simply tap on that button right to the left of the iMessage icon. That makes it disappear. Now, tapping it again will make the bar disappear where those apps show up. So I'm going to tap on it to bring it back up again. And we're going to go to the start of this because I want to show you something really kind of uh, fun, I guess, uh, and and helpful whenever it comes to using these different apps. So I can go ahead and tap on, let's go with images. And you can see all of these images that show up down at the bottom. But, you know, scrolling down here with this little bit of screen, maybe you want to see more at a time. This little gray bar right in the middle is a place for you to place your finger and swipe up to the top, and that can give you more access. Now I can search for other images. This is one that Apple includes standard, so I could type in uh, iOS. Let's see what happens when I type in iOS. Ah, there's some fun Apple stuff, so I could send myself a uh, little iPhone that is launching for the home screen. Very easy. And it even shows underneath, you'll see that there's a little conversation there, or a little uh, bit of information there that shows where they sourced that image. Now, this bar is available in most of the apps that you're going to use within the iMessage app section. So you can see music here. If I swipe up, I can choose a song that I could then send to someone. So I would tap on that and send it. Very easy to do. And I can see more or less depending on what I'm looking at just by tapping that little gray bar. So there's your first tip. 
So again, tapping the button makes it go away. Tapping it again makes the bar disappear. Tapping it brings back up that bar. And let's go ahead and talk about how I make adjustments to the iMessage apps that are already on my device. If I swipe to the very end of the iMessage apps uh, section, then I will see those three dots. I'll tap on those three dots and you can see these are my favorite apps. These are the ones that I've chosen allegedly as my favorites and then more apps, the ones that I have not added to my favorites or removed but are available. If I tap in the top right, the edit button, then I can include or remove apps that I do or don't want, like Recents. If I tap to turn that on, then Recents is going to show up in the slider at the very end. Recents lets you see all sorts of different stickers and photos and things like that that you've sent in the past period of time. And then I can also remove apps that I don't want. So maybe I'm not into the digital touch thing. You probably got that message. I can tap the little red circle next to it to remove digital touch from favorites. And then I can easily go and toggle it off. So I won't see digital touch at all. What if I want to have recents in my favorites so that it shows up at the beginning? And then I also want to make it so that it's near the top. Well, I can tap on recents, the little plus sign next to it. And then the little gray bars to the right of these different apps is a way to reorganize the order. So I'll tap those three gray bars and I can drag up and boop, recents goes up at the top. I'll tap done. I'll tap done again. And then I can go back here and I can choose recents and it shows me the different uh, things that I've sent in the last period of time. So those are all available there for me, quick and easy to access. So if you've got ones that you use a lot, then that's a great way to see those and be able to use them. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by ExpressVPN. When you're at home, your online activity can still be traced in incognito mode. That's why when I'm home, I never go online without ExpressVPN. ISPs can't see what sites you visit, and your data is 100% encrypted. So protect your online activity today with a VPN that I trust to secure my privacy. Visit my special link at expressvpn.com slash HOI, and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash HOI. expressvpn.com slash HOI to learn more. How do I add more? Well, that is also a simple process. I'm going to tap on the little blue A for App Store. This is the iMessage App Store, a very specific period, a little uh, section of, this is the iMessage App Store. It's a little section of the App Store that of course is different from the main App Store. Now I can come into here and I can swipe through and see, oh look, the editors actually choose the different apps and sticker packs that are available in this section so that you can see the iMessage games that they like to play, the stickers they're using, uh, some different dog stickers, which is quite kind of fun, and then different uh, celebrities that have released different sticker packs as well, and some very strange sticker packs like Banana Ninja and Banana Samurai, uh, which is interesting and odd. So I'm going to choose one that is free so that we can quickly see how this works. I recommend Game Pigeon. That one is fun. It's got lots of different uh, games. So actually, we'll download that. You can see that I've downloaded it before with my account. But if it was new, you would see the Get button next to it. And then I can tap Open. Now, Game Pigeon is exclusively an iMessage app. It is not available as an, a full-on app. Some apps will also include iMessage portions. So the app will be available outside. You, when you tapped open, it would launch the actual app, but I just want the iMessage section. So I can set up a game that I would then play with the person on the other end of the, the blind. This happens to be me, but I will show you just so you can see how this works. So for example, uh, maybe we would play 20 questions. I would think of a word. Uh, let's go with iPhone. And then I tap done. And then I tap send. Now that is going to show up for the other person. In this case, it's me. And they will get to ask me 20 questions. Over the course of this game, the messages will go back and forth within this game. 
and it will allow you to have this play out this whole game using the uh, game pigeon app. It's a lot of fun. This is just one example though of the different apps. So again, I tap that blue app store button and I can see different apps that are available in the iMessage app store, but I can of course also search for apps that I might be interested in looking for. So it's very simple to access new apps. Let's say you wanted to remove Game Pigeon. Well, that's a very simple thing to do. You just swipe all the way to the end of the iMessage apps drawer. We tap on the three dots to bring up the different options. We tap edit, and then where Game Pigeon is, we choose to remove it from the selection, and then I can swipe to delete it. So it's as simple as swiping to the left to remove the app, the iMessage app. And I can just tap done, I can pop back out, and then I have the ones that I have available. Of course, I like Game Pigeon, so I'm gonna keep that on there. Uh, all that's left is to give a look at some of the other options. Of course, there's the iMessage apps, but there are also stickers available too. So tapping on this and choosing stickers we love, for example, including decline stickers, which I will download, and then I will tap open, and if you watched my first ever episode of Hands on iOS, then you would have seen how to use stickers and how to peel and stick them. So I can swipe over, choose the decline sticker pack, put that on there and say, eh, I don't really want to play right now. Maybe another time. Super simple to do. That is how you access iMessage apps. It's as simple as launching the messages app, tapping on the little uh, the little app icon to the left of your messages conversation to bring it up and to make it disappear again. And that is iMessage apps. Folks, I hope you got a little bit more information about how to use iMessage apps, stickers, and games, because again, it can be kind of confusing. It's a little bit hidden. It's hard to find. How do you add more? How do you remove them? How do you rearrange them? It gets a little tricky, and that is just a quick look at iMessage apps and games, but most importantly, a way for you to know how to take control of those. That's what this show is all about, getting the most out of your devices, knowing how to truly use them, and make use of all the features that are there. And I thank you so much for tuning in. Of course, you should subscribe to the show. That's twit.tv slash HOI, where you can go to subscribe, publish every single week. And of course, if you're a YouTube person, then you can head to youtube.com slash hands on iOS. Thanks so much for tuning in and we will see you again next week. Check out other shows here on Twit TV, including my show, Hands On Photography. On this show, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your camera as well as be a better post processor. So head on over to twit.tv hop and subscribe now. <laughs>